Good blessed throwback Thursday, uh, September the 30th, 2021. It's about 8, 12 p.m. Uh, I'm coming tonight again uh, concerning injustice for another black male life token. Uh, this particular black male is family, y'all. Family all over the world. Uh, in Japan, my, my, my kin folks in Japan, uh, my family and all the other states here in the United States. This is family that done died. Uh, in the hands of a gangbanger. And I want to tell you part of the story and I'm going to let you listen to it. Just yesterday on September the 29th, 2021 in Schaumburg, Illinois. A northwest suburb of Chicago, Illinois. Uh, young Manuel Portis Jr., 18 years old, was stalked by a 17-year-old Mexican guy. And I don't want everybody to dislike uh, the Mexican people because of what this Mexican uh, individual, game banger, did to, to our cousin. Uh... I want you to help me get justice for Manuel Portis Jr. He was stalked by an individual that's a known game banger. By an individual, even though he's 17 and Manuel is 18, this 17 year old done had gun charges, a known game banger. And this video coverage, some of the video coverage showing some of the fight, but some of the fight is showing enough to charge this 17-year-old as an adult and for murder. You going to look and see for yourself just part of it. The part you see, they cut, they don't want it to be seen, but it will be presented. You will see Manuel falling to the ground. You will see the knife in this guy's hand. They was fist fighting. Manuel didn't go looking for this guy. This guy came looking for him. That's called stalking. That's called premeditation. But when Manuel fell to the ground, the 17-year-old Mexican guy, I guess because they let him get away as a juvenile before with a gun, he stabbed Manu in the chest and stabbed him multiple times and then fled the scene. The Schomburg police and the Schomburg paramedics tried to provide, revive Manu, but they was unsuccessful. They caught up with this 17-year-old game banger Coward, punk, and they charged him with a misdemeanor, unlawful use of a weapon. Manuel's father, Manuel Portis Sr., and his family went down to the Cook County State's Attorney's Office where they said it's insufficient evidence. When you look at this, tell me how, unless it's a different definition of insufficient. You see, when 14 and 15 year old black children go out there and carjack somebody. And they hurt them and they die. The first thing they do is charge them as an adult. The Mexican guy that stabbed Manuel, he's 17. He's old enough to be charged as, charged as an adult. I want you to watch this here for a minute, but I want my activist friends in Chicago and every other state, I want y'all to get a protest going at the Cook County State's Attorney's Office and in Schaumburg, Illinois, and ask that this Mexican guy, 17 years old, be arrested and charged as an adult. Listen and look very carefully. If 
family of an 18-year-old man from Elgin is disappointed that a murder charge won't be brought by the Cook County State's Attorney's Office in the death of their son. The killing happened in northwest suburban Schaumburg, and it was recorded on a cell phone. We get more on the story now from WGN's Kelly Davis. The victim's family is fighting for justice. They met with the state's attorney today to ask why the suspect in this case has not been charged with murder. I don't wish this on nobody. Not my worst is in Manuel Portis says his son, who was named after him, was a good kid. He messed up, messed up like other kids do, you know, make teenage mistakes, but he didn't deserve this. 18-year-old Manuel Portis Jr. was stabbed to death during a fight Tuesday night. It happened around 6 p.m. in front of a house on Sternbridge Lane near Newberry in Schaumburg. The guy that did it, this to my son, he's a coward. He was scared. And he brought a knife to a fight where my son didn't have no weapon. Family tells me the two teens met for a one-on-one -on -one fight, and someone recorded it on their cell phone. Come on, man. Come on. Portis is punched in the face and falls to the ground. This is where we pause that video. It then shows the suspect stab Portis in the neck as he's lying there. They're saying that it's mutual combat. How is it mutual combat when my son didn't have a, anything to come back with? The only thing he had was his two hands. The 17-year-old suspect is charged with misdemeanor unlawful use of a weapon. And then he stood over my son and finished him. And that's not murder. Schomburg police say they presented the case to the Cook County State's Attorney, who authorizes charges. Portis's family met with them to demand justice. This is no way that this young man should continue to live his life, and my son is gone. I reached out to the attorney's office for comment. A spokesperson says, quote, they determined that the evidence was insufficient to meet their burden of proof needed for murder charges. In Rolling Meadows, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News. Thank you, Kelly. Did y'all hear what they said? Now, this is Kim Fox, Kim Fox, a black female that runs the prosecuting attorney's office at the Cook County, in Cook County, the second, I believe, the second largest uh, jails and prosecuting attorney's office. She's out of Cabrini Green, y'all. She just been, I believe, reelected. If they don't charge this guy with murder, how is it insufficient evidence when they see him fighting, even though they cut some of it off, He's down on the ground. They said he stabbed him in the neck, stabbed him multiple times. They said it was mutual combat. Mutual combat if you boxing, fighting. You see what I'm saying? That's mutual combat. But if you fighting and you losing the fight or you fighting and then you come up with any type of weapon that's deadly and use it, that's considered when he stabbed him, that was attempted murder because anything above the waist is attempted murder. He stabbed him in the neck, I believe in the heart. He stabbed him multiple times. How was that uh, mutual combat? Mr. Holmes, Ray Richards, uh, Jamal, and all of you other activists that call yourself activists in Chicago, Illinois, y'all need to get with my cousin. You need to protest in Schaumburg, Illinois. You need to protest at the Cook County uh, Courthouse about a prosecuting attorney's office and demand justice for Manuel Portis Jr. Or do I have to come all the way up from Charleston, Missouri, making an 800 mile round trip to do it? I know my homie Dwight Taylor is going to make sure it is it's spread it in Indiana. And all of my other family in other states, I want this to be seen, y'all. Another black man murdered. Another black man murdered, and they caught, they charging him with a misdemeanor, unlawful use of a weapon as a juvenile. He's 17 years old. He's a game banger, a known game banger. He has been charged with a gun before. Even though he was a juvenile, he know what he's doing. How many more black individuals going to be killed 
before black people come together as a unit and protest justice for Manuel Portis Jr. We demand it. We're not asking for it. What nothing mutual about that? You see what I'm saying? What no insufficient evidence? If it was turned around, the Mexican guy was 18 and Manuel was 17 and he was fighting and pulled out a, a knife and stabbed this Mexican guy, stabbed him in the neck while he's down on the ground. And you can hear him saying he going to finish him off. He stalked him, so he knew what he was doing. It should be premeditated murder. You see, he went looking for my cousin. And like my cousin said, Manuel's father, the guy's a coward. Family, I want y'all to put a wrong for death in and sue his family, even if they got to be homeless. Don't let this go. All of my activist friends and family we going to seek justice. Until then, y'all stay strong and peace be still.